my name is Ashlyn Carter. Welcome to my channel. I am getting back on here once a week, so if you are new here, I'd love for you to subscribe. You can go back and watch hundreds of flower videos. I do a ton of DIY flowers, food, hosting stuff, all good things, lifestyle, and welcome back. So today, I am putting together this beautiful, kind of reminds me of a end of summer, early fall, Okay, it's like the last of the wildflowers. It reminds me of just being picked off the mountain. And then we've got our few fall touches with this muted mum in here. I love it. It turned out so just whimsical and beautiful. I'm hosting an event tonight. So let me show you guys how I put this together. I wanted to introduce you to Dutch. He is our new 11 week old. We got him a couple weeks ago, mini Bernadoodle puppy. And if you hear a little yelping or barking in the background, this will be this guy. We still have Louie, and Louie got a new little brother. We got him from our same breeders, Sunshine Doodles, out in Las Vegas, and he has been a dream, but he's also all puppy. So I'm trying a little bit different setup today. I will give you an up-close view when we start designing this arrangement. Let's see, it is September, so it feels very hot outside, even though it's raining here in San Diego today. We are having some house guests tonight, so maybe next week's video will be what I'm doing, a little host the table series for them, as well as the flowers. But today, I want to say happy Friday, introduce you to Dutch, our newest member, and if you hear the doggies in the background, now you know why. Okay. There's a lot of good flowers out at the end of summer, early fall. These are called Disbin Mums. I love that they have just a very subtle blush, like muted tone. So we are working with these today. For my greenery, I'm working with this beautiful rustic sage looking greenery filler. It is acacia plant, so, or tree. I'm working with these today. I'm also working with these really pretty pur light purple lavender looking flowers. They're actually called a blue lace flower even though they look very like a light purple. I love it, it kind of reminds me of Scabiosa, right? So we've got that. Our blue delphinium, just lovely. Love the color it gives, very subtle. And lastly today we have our pink stilbe. So a lot of feathery textures, it kind of just all came together for me at the flower bar yesterday. I go and I'm looking for things to put together. And this is what I chose. So why don't we get started in building our arrangement? Here's the tape. It's very thin. It's like a clear floral tape. And then it's hard to see on here, but there you go. I'm making grids. And I'm just using real, regular scissors. Excuse the puppies. And cutting it to make like a checkered pattern. As always, strip all the leaves off so they're not in the water. I'm not gonna pollute it or make it extra bacteria. We've got our base going here, kinda looks the same on all directions. This is going on my dining room table, like I said, for my dinner. So I don't want it too large because I want it to be able to stay there so we can chat with our company. But at the same time, I want it to be fun. If we have to move it, we will. All right, so we did the acacia. Now I'm gonna move on to this blue flower, a little wildflower looking like thing. It's just so fun and pretty. I love that the two greens complement each other. going next I'm going to add my pink steel bay it's gonna be a nice pop in there very wildflower looking I love it now we're gonna add the blue delphinium and I'm going to save my statement flower which are these Disbud Mums, Mums for last. Cause see, you want those to show. So let's add a few of these delphinium sprigs. Everything is kind of in there touching the water and at the end you might need to go back and add a little bit more 
just to make sure everything has enough to drink. All right, looks pretty good. Looks very similar all the way around. And now I'm gonna go in and add a few of these mums. Stick it back in. And I like that it's sitting a tad higher than this guy. Okay, we have four mums in here. I do have five total, so I'm gonna use the fifth because I want it to be an odd number. Don't these kind of look like dahlias a little bit? And way cheaper. Loving this color. All right, so I'm thinking this side looks good with the three. I might do one more in this corner. I'm trying to decide because this one's lower, so I kind of probably want it. almost the exact same height as this guy, so I'm gonna bring him down a little bit. He's gonna be a little lower, and it, the one across the way is a little lower, so it just kinda works. Here we are, so beautiful. I really, really love this, so easy. This came together with the prettiest flowers. Now, when I'm looking at it from a bird's eye view, it definitely, there's, couple little gaps in here so I'm gonna go back through and fill that with really anything would work but I'm gonna fill that with my estilve here and it's already just one spray adds so much more That's it for today's video. I am going to start preparing dinner and I hope you guys enjoyed making this flower arrangement for me. Come back next week for a new Set the Table series. I'm doing a very delicious but like family favorite meal tonight that you are not gonna wanna miss. And I hope you enjoyed your arrangement making with me today and have a great weekend. Bye everybody.